Well, aloha. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, wherever you're connecting from in the world. My name is Master Paul. I'm very pleased and honored to be connecting with you today for this very special uh, day to receive a blessing. And for those that stick around, they'll be able to receive a blessing from a Tao calligraphy for releasing pain. In deciding to do this today, it was actually a divine guidance because it's not something that I would normally do. It's actually quite a large blessing. So for those that are available, they will have a tremendous opportunity. So I'm very grateful for your presence. Today is the 31st day of January. Things are moving quite rapidly into February. And actually, one of the reasons I chose to do this uh, blessing today is to make you aware of my teacher, Master Shah. He is a world-renowned healer. And one of the most profound uh, methods that he uses to bring about shift in a person's um, suffering is through Tao Source Oneness Calligraphy. So I'll do a bit of a teaching on that today. And then we will uh, receive a blessing eventually. And uh, I will invite you to attend uh, Master Shah's upcoming events here in Hawaii. Uh, it's very rare to be uh, with this master. If you can make it in person, that is the ideal uh, condition. Of course, you want to be here uh, in Hawaii. And I know for a lot of you, it's quite difficult to even contemplate that. Uh, but because of who this spiritual teacher is, it might be the only time in your entire life where you have an opportunity to be with such an advanced soul uh, here on earth. And because he only has one event scheduled this entire year, uh, where he used to do 17, 18, 20 events a year, uh, he's down to one. And that's because he's moving away from serving in this manner. He's moving towards transferring power to his master teachers. Um, but no one will have the same power that he does. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to share with you today about the Tao calligraphy. I'll pause a moment and check in with who has joined us. So welcome Archana. Welcome Samba. Uh, Aloha also to Tone. Welcome also uh, Maya and Iodin. Aloha Margaret. Thank you all for your presence. And welcome also to Thomas Schmidt and Roshan yeah. Dell. Thank you for coming. Welcome, Rawita. Welcome also to, so how do you say that? Randala Mitchell. Aloha also to uh, Dagmar. Welcome, Divjot. Welcome, Dan. Aloha, Johnny Mambod. Welcome, Pranjal. Uh, let's see if I'm missing anyone. Welcome, Wagner. Thank you, Wagner, for supporting the live stream today. Kristen is out serving humanity, traveling the globe. Welcome, Mimini. Great to see you here. And welcome also to Liza Taylor and Richie. Welcome, Richie. Welcome, Becky Lafab. Aloha to Burson and uh, Bibi. Thank you all for your presence. Not so easy to see some of the names sometimes on my computer. So thank you for coming. So uh, show of hands, how many of you are familiar with Tao calligraphy? I know by reading the names that quite a few of you may be. Uh, but I'd like to see your hearts, your hands. Happy faces, how many of you are familiar? And those that are unfamiliar, you can use an unhappy face, just so I know that you're unfamiliar with Tao calligraphy. Welcome, Candy. Welcome, Jane Jane. Okay, I see a lot of happy faces, a lot of hearts, a lot of thumbs up. So quite a few people know about Tao calligraphy. That's great. So far, I haven't seen any, any unhappy faces or thumbs down. I see a few tears there, a few unhappy faces starting to come in. Okay, so that's good. I get a feel for how many people are familiar with this. So um, I tell you, this, this blessing I'm going to offer today is not a small one. I had to check guidance, make sure it was okay. It actually uses quite a bit of virtue, which I'll talk a little bit about. And um, I have to return that virtue. But it's something that I was guided to do. And the main reason why is because I want you to become more familiar with, with Master Shah and attend his retreats as much as possible. But let's go ahead and connect first, placing our hands in a soul light, soul service hand position. 
Dropping our left hand in front of our heart center, the right hand remain pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes and I'll call in the beings of light. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, all of our mother and father, Shurfus, heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, all the beings of light serving the light side, including the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, and ascendant masters, lamas, gurus, sifu, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas. We love you, we honor you, respect you, and we thank you for your presence. We ask you to join us today in whatever way is most appropriate to serve through today's live stream, all of those with the condition of pain. Assist them in whatever way is most appropriate. Extremely grateful. We invite the souls of those very high-level beings who have served before, Beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddha and Kuan Yin, Amitofu, Shakyamuni Fo, beloved Da Pusa. We invite the soul of beloved Krishna, Ganesha, Vishnu, Muhammad, and more beings of light. We're extremely grateful for your presence, and we invite you to serve in whatever way is most appropriate. We ask forgiveness for this in all times that we may have made mistakes, and we offer our unconditional forgiveness. Now we will now sing the song of love, peace, and harmony. Most of the names I recognize, uh, so most of you probably know this song. Uh, if you do not, then uh, I encourage you to go to lovepeaceharmony.org and go to the resources section and download the song. Let us sing together to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Lu la lu la li, lu la lu la la li, lu la. La li lu la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la. Wo ai wo xian er li. Wo ai zi man li. Rong li rong er mu shi shong. Song I ping on a ship. Song I ping on her ship. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace. And harmony, love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Several of the students are assisting each other by dropping in links. So, uh, if you follow the links from the different students, they're dropping in posts. How you can find more about love, peace, and harmony. Also, the links to attend Master Shah's upcoming events. So thank you for your presence. Welcome, Cora. Welcome also to, uh, who else did I miss? Shirley. Welcome, Shirley Martin. Aloha, Dan. Welcome. Thank you, Janie Jane, for sharing that you're not familiar with Dal Calligraphy. I'm sure that there will be quite a few that watch this live stream after the fact that are not familiar with Dal Calligraphy, but that's okay. They're going to learn a little bit more now. So what is Dal Calligraphy? Well, this is an example of what it looks like. Okay. And it's referred to as oneness calligraphy. Now, this is actually a combination of three words. Up here at the top, the, in the middle is greatest, and then the bottom is forgiveness. Greatest forgiveness. And in Mandarin Chinese, it translates to Da Quan Chu. Now, there are quite a few calligraphies that have been created, and it is called source oneness calligraphy. Welcome, Lake Xia. Welcome, Kelly Brown. So this Tao Source Oneness Calligraphy, what makes it so unique? What makes it so very, very special? Well, the first thing to know is that it was uh, given to Master Shah as a lineage holder by a woman who had not shared it to any soul for 103 years. This woman is now 106 years old. And Master Shah knew about her about 15, 20 years ago. And he knew of this oneness calligraphy. And he knew that he needed to learn it. And he knew that he, because that, heaven told him. But it wasn't the right timing. 
And he didn't know if this woman would live to be an old enough or not. But um, this beautiful soul had has the sole lineage holder of the Tao Source Oneness calligraphy, and she learned from her father. Her father was the uh, calligrapher for the um, uh, one of the dynasties, the most recent dynasty of China before it became a communist country. And so it's several hundred years old, this one-stroke calligraphy. So the key with a one-stroke calligraphy is that all of the different characters, which are typically made up of up to 20 strokes, so each stroke could be three or four strokes to make up one character, it could be up to 20 strokes to make up a single character that means a word. So Da Quan Shu, if you look at the middle one, there's quite a few strokes in that middle one. Uh, there's, there's upwards of 15 strokes to make up that one character, forgiveness. Uh, or the greatest, excuse me, forgiveness is the next one. So uh, to be able to uh, receive, be the sole lineage holder of a hundred and multi-hundred year old uh, structure, uh, it was very powerful. Now Master Shah, for those of you that are not familiar with him, welcome Prati. Welcome also to uh, uh, Lekshe, any other souls I have not acknowledged, welcome. The uh, calligraphy has been around for many, 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 many thousands of years. It's, it's not unique. In, in the Eastern philosophies, Eastern cultures, it's very special. It's something that represents solitude, peace, meditation. It's something that represents uh, the delivery of a message in a very powerful way. Uh, so it's it's... It has a very high level of respect associated with it, and it hasn't changed for many, many thousands of years. But Master Shah, being a universal servant to humanity, being a soul who is a recipient of heaven's communications and heaven's uh, miracle-level blessings, has received authorities to put power into these calligraphies. And that's not a small statement, because you are all going to experience an example of that today. Now, the reason I'm offering this uh, blessing today and the reason I've, I've set uh, the stage for this is because Master Shah has events coming to Hawaii, live events. Now, I want to share with you the last two years, he has not had any events open to the public with a very small exception last year. At the very last minute, he opened up a five-day healing event to the public. But for except for that, the last two years, he has not had events open to the public. You had to be a long-term student practicing to learn, for example, Tao calligraphy or advanced teachings and trainings. So to be able to access this high-level being, and the wisdom that he carries, this is 21 uh, books, more than 21. He also, uh, of those 21, 11 are New York Times bestsellers. Four reached number one on the bestsellers list. That's a very high-level individual that can accomplish that. So he carries great wisdom, but more importantly, he carries tools and techniques that we can relieve our pain, relieve our blockages. We can find a pathway in this life that can be filled with suffering and actually have tools and techniques to, to work through them as quickly as possible, push them aside, and never have them come back. Who does not want that? Everybody wants to push aside their problems and never have them come back. These things are possible when you're following a being of light that has no agenda other than to assist us in our awakening process. Uh, Aloha Bernadette, welcome my bis my Bisson. And so um, when I talk about Tao calligraphy, it is one of many sources of wisdom and one of many modalities that he has brought to humanity to help. You can learn more by picking up any of his books. So what does Tao calligraphy do and how does it work before we actually get into the blessings? Tao calligraphy is the ability to receive positive Shen Qi Jing from higher dimensional uh, areas of, of creation down into this third dimension. Now, if you watched my Tuesday live stream, I talked about frequencies and dimensions, and I gave a good example, quite a few good examples of frequencies and dimensions, and how uh, if we bring higher frequencies, higher meaning uh, higher quality into our world, then we can positively affect our Shen Qi Jing. For those that are unfamiliar with Shen Qi and Jing, 
Shen is soul, heart and mind blockages. Qi is our energy and Jing is matter. So the soul, heart, mind blockages impact our energy and our matter. What are the soul, heart, mind blockages? They are uh, negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, ego attachments. Those are mind blockages. Heart blockages, jealousy, greed, aspects of corruption, um, anger, lack of spiritual wisdom. These are heart blockages. What are soul level blockages? Well, these are our personal wrong actions, harming, cheating, killing, hurting others, taking advantage of others. These are our personal karmas, if you will. So these soul, heart, mind blockages, they impact the physical body in the form of uh, um, adjustments to our energy and matter. They create negative blockages in our energy and matter. And so uh, the wisdom that Master Shah has brought to us for the past 20 years is how to adjust the negative energies that we have earned. We've earned them through our wrong thoughts, our wrong words, and our wrong actions. We or our ancestors may have made some significant mistakes uh, doing negative things to others. And of course, we're not the same people now. We're a lot more positive now. But we still need to uh, release the negative energy blockages that are causing, in this example today, physical pain. Okay? So from the spiritual perspective, physical pain is not caused by the car accident. It's not caused by falling down the stairs. Physical pain is not caused by what you think it was caused by, whatever the source you believe was the originator of it. From the spiritual perspective, there was a predecessor that brought about that physical action that brought you the pain. So again, you follow the steps. Uh, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Our soul level blockages, the, the things that, that you, I, and all of us have done personally, cheating, harming, killing, taking advantage of others. Examples. Those are just examples. I know you have not done those things now, but it doesn't mean that in the past we have not made big mistakes or our ancestors. And so in working with um, releasing physical pain, releasing emotional pain, even releasing mental pain, they all have the same originating source, Shen Qi Jing blockages, soul heart mind level blockages negative mindsets attitudes beliefs ego uh, lack of love lack of spiritual wisdom greed uh, jealousies and so forth so these are blockages that impact our energy that then impact our matter so when for example let's say that um, <clears throat> in a previous time you or one of your ancestors made some significant mistakes uh, and you took advantage of people's um, bodily strengths and you made them overwork carrying things that are way too heavy to carry so that you can make more money uh, because maybe you had a lot of greed going on you were you're working in the mines you maybe uh, you or your ancestors maybe owned some of the the gold mines or the, or the coal mines or whatever it was and you overworked your employees and they all uh, many of them had sore backs and sore knees okay as a result of having to carry too much Okay, that's an example. So now you have sore back and sore knees in this life. And you, and you think it's because of a car accident or you think it's because of, you know, running too much in school or whatever you think on the monkey mind level. The spiritual wisdom would be no. This is something that is a Shen Qi Jing blockage. This is an energetic blockage of negativity that had been created by wrong thoughts, words, or actions. And so then it's it's... It's filtered its way into your physical presence, adjusted your energy, and accordingly the matter is out of balance in your body, reflecting this in the pain. Welcome, um, Sejane, and welcome to your, to, I can't even pronounce that, Tue, Tue, do it, Hans. <laughs> Sorry if I destroyed it. Welcome, Bersin. And so this is an example of how we have that physical uh, pain. Same thing with an emotional pain. If we have depression, anxiety, we have you know fear that just debilitates us or, or, or long-term worry or can't seem to get rid of that grief, these are also uh, uh, Shen Qi Jing blockages, negative energy blockages that we have, we or our ancestors have earned. So what is the solution then? Well, according to uh, the wisdom that, that heaven has given Master Shah, that he has then translated to us through his 21 plus books, the wisdom is forgiveness. Now, for some of you, 
Yeah. Oh, forgiveness. Okay, I did that. Next, I'm going to flip off this channel and go somewhere else. Well, you can, but you'll be missing probably the highest wisdom that you could attain in this life. Forgiveness is the one thing that can solve all of our problems. Flip side of the coin is love. Forgiveness, however, is what can offset or remove the negative mistakes that we or our ancestors may have made. Forgiveness is positive energy. Love is positive energy. And love melts all blockages. Forgiveness acknowledges the errors that have been made. And then that negative energy can leave. It's very, very simple math. It doesn't require uh, uh, to be a guru in spirituality to figure out that love and forgiveness are the highest levels of positive energy at offset negative energy. So what makes the Tao calligraphies so very special? Because we're going to offer you a blessing not too long from now. Welcome, Jagmeet. <clears throat> the Tao calligraphies are tools through which heaven's Shen Qi Jing We've already talked about a human Shen Qi Jing. Humans Shen Qi Jing is filled with our blockages. Mother Earth has her Shen Qi Jing. Her Shen Qi Jing is much more pure. Look at how much of an unconditional servant she is. She's lived for a billion years. Uh, Mother Earth Shen Qi Jing has um, been filled with great love for humanity. She provides us food, water, everything we need, ask for nothing in return. This is a beautiful soul. What about heaven's Shen Qi Jing? much higher than Mother Earth's Shen Qi Jing. Heaven's Shen Qi Jing is so pure and clear we can't even see heaven. Their, their vibrational frequencies, their positive energy is so very high. Okay, So the higher the Shen Qi Jing, the more value to us as a human being. Heaven's Shen Qi Jing has been brought into these Tao calligraphy cards. And you can trace them. So you can actually acquire these if you'd like, these uh, cards. And the ones that I can get you are, are about as big as my hand. This is this is a smaller one, but the other ones are actually as big as my hand. And um, they're and I'm not selling you. You can get them anywhere you want from one of the master teachers or from from one of the centers. But if you want to get them through me, they're fifty dollars each. I'm going to be using a special one that I've received uh, from Master Shaw that's been specially blessed to serve. Uh, welcome, Dean Forbes. Welcome also to uh, Carol Jaffra. Welcome, Rhonda Garner. And so this particular one, the greatest forgiveness, carries heaven's forgiveness much, much higher than our own forgiveness. So we're going to go ahead and move into offering the blessings now. So what I want you to do is I want you to choose one, one only. Do not choose more than one. You choose more than one, you get no blessings. Choose one area of pain. It can be a physical pain. It can be an emotional pain. It could be a mental pain. Choose one. You don't have to type it down. I don't need to see your personal responses. <clears throat> I'm happy to have you share the results afterwards. Uh, and that's not for me. That's for other people. So I want you to choose this pain, and I want you to choose the level of imbalance. Ideally, choose the physical pain. They're very easy to measure. So you could say, I have neck pain, and it's an 8 on a 10 scale. Or I have shoulder pain, and it's a 7 out of 10 scale, or knee pain, or hip pain, or headache, or whatever it might be. Give it a number, okay? The reason I want you to do this is because before and after. A lot of times people, are they don't pay enough attention, so they cannot measure it. Okay? And so give it a pain level. And then also, if it's a bodily part, stretch. What causes it to be more painful? When you bend a certain direction, right? When you sit down, is it more painful? When you stand up, is it more painful? Measure that difference. Because after you receive the blessing, you're going to do those same stretches and movements and see what the difference is. So the, for some people, they might have no difference. For some people, they might have 100% difference. Just depends on the level of the Shen, Qi, Jing blockage. The last thing I'm going to share with you is uh, that level of blockage so that you have a deeper understanding the level of Shen Qi Jing blockage means the level of our spiritual debt the level of negativity when we have difficulty moving something even when we get blessings it doesn't mean the blessings doesn't work it means that the level of uh, Shen Qi Jing blockage is very high 
Why would it only work for some people 20% and other people 100%? Because the ones that it worked 100%, their level of blockage was not that high. So that means we have to do deeper forgiveness, okay? So I'm going to walk all of you now through a forgiveness practice, and then I'm going to set my clock for five minutes and give you a blessing. Five minutes might not sound like a lot, but when you see some people respond that they had a significant difference, you'll start to understand how valuable those five minutes are. Also, for those that do want private blessings, you can contact me. My information is listed above uh, where I posted this beginning of this video. I'm happy to serve you if you want private blessings. So we're going to do a forgiveness practice, okay? So place your hands either in prayer position or if you know the soul light, soul service hand position, you can drop your left hand in front of your heart center. Close your eyes. And do this forgiveness practice from your heart. From your heart. Repeat after me if it's comfortable. Dear my beloved divine creator, my name is, state your name three times, I wish to sincerely apologize for all the mistakes I and my ancestors have made in this and all time. Dear all souls of humanity, all animal souls, all souls, any souls that have been harmed by me or my ancestors especially those have, that have been harmed for the same condition that I'm asking blessings for. Maybe it's back pain. So you say, especially those that have back pain. If I or my ancestors created this same pain for you by our mistakes, by wrong thoughts, wrong words, wrong actions, I sincerely, deeply and sincerely apologize. From my heart, I deeply and sincerely apologize. I have suffered greatly with this pain, and I would not wish this upon anyone. I ask from the bottom of my heart your forgiveness. I do not wish to make these same mistakes again, but I know that the mistakes that were made must have been significant because this pain has been with me and I wish you to know I have learned my lessons I sincerely sincerely apologize from your heart to all of the souls that have harmed me brought suffering into my world by thoughts by words by actions you may have contributed to my pain, and I may have been blaming you. I wish to reverse that now and offer you my unconditional forgiveness, releasing you of any spiritual debt that you may have with me. I no longer wish to hold a grudge. I wish to fully release this negative energy. Please forgive me if I have harmed you. I forgive you unconditionally. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now, what I'd like you to do is focus on your area of request, visualizing light coming from 360 degrees into your area of request. If you had a emotional or mental pain, see the light coming into your heart center. While I'm doing these blessings, I strongly recommend that you continue a silent forgiveness practice continue to silently ask forgiveness for any mistakes that you have made that have led to this suffering you could be quite surprised at the results if you are heartfelt in your forgiveness I will now set the clock for a five minutes dial calligraphy blessing and during this time I will chant to serve you <clears throat> I will turn on my treasures dear the soul of this original Dao calligraphy card connected to the original Dao calligraphy and the blessings Master Shah has placed within here. Love you and appreciate you, respect you. Please turn on as I trace and sing. Could you please offer a blessing to all of the souls watching this live stream? 
now and those that watch us in the future offer their blessings as appropriate blessing begin remember to do your own silent forgiveness practice Ula, lula, li. Ula, lula, la, li. Ula, lula, li, lula. Ula, li, lula. Ula, li. Lula, wo ai wo xin er li, wo ai zan an ei, rang li hi rang er mu she shong, shong ai ping. On a song, I ping on her sea. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls. Together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lola, Lola, Li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. I wash in our Forgiveness card is called Da Quan Shu, Greatest Forgiveness. I will now chant these words. Continue to do silent forgiveness. Da Quan Shu. Da Quan Shu. Da Quan Shu. Da Quan Shu Da Quan Shu Da Quan Shu Da Quan Shu 
的狂熊。好，好，好 ，Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Five minutes went very fast, didn't it? Okay, so for those that were able to receive the full blessing, even those that came in late, maybe you noticed the difference. Please post, and again, this is not for me. This is for all those that watch this to see. This was my suffering. It was an eight on a ten scale before. Now it's what number? Okay. What was it before? What is it now? And also state the condition. Because you could say, I was a five, now I'm a three, but nobody knows what your condition was. So state your condition, what number it was before, what number it is now. Move around, get up, move around, stretch, check. Okay? Try to, um, try to choose the same uh, area that you had a blockage before. And measure. Is it less now? And so while you are checking, I want to remind everyone that these, this level of blessing and about a million times higher can be received by attending Master Shah's upcoming retreat in Honolulu. <clears throat> you can learn more by going to drshah.com and you can uh, request there. And on his home page, uh, you'll see the banner scrolling across, and you'll see his events coming up here in Hawaii. You can, of course, attend via webcast. In person is going to be the most special, of course. But let's see. Samba says she went from a 9 down to a 1. Uh, I don't know what your request was, Samba, but that's a very significant shift from a pain level on number 9 all the way down to a number 1. That's huge. What do we always say? Did I do this? No. Did the card do it? No. Did Master Shah do it? No. They are all the deliverer. Who did it? Heaven, Source. We always give our gratitude. Thank you, Heaven. Thank you, Source. And we offer our gratitude to those who have forgiven us because the mistakes, the negative energies we had uh, created along our many souls' journey uh, brought these negative energies that was the source of the pain. Uh, those negative energies are representations of mistakes and those that were harmed are the ones that have forgiven and so we offer our gratitude to all those that have forgiven us thank you thank you thank you for your forgiveness very important welcome melissa <coughs> welcome rose um thank you yamini she's posted the exact links for the dial calligraphy march 16 and 17 blessings that master shah will be offering directly Carol Jaff says that uh, the discomfort is the same as it was before. So as a reminder to those that had no difference, um, why? Because the negative Shin Chi Jing blockages, uh, they have different ranges of um, depth, if you will. So if, if I go and I kick somebody in the shins, um, of course they're going to have sore shins. Uh, and then maybe I'll have shin splints later in life, but one blessing could solve it because it's a minor shin cheating blockage. If I harm people significantly over a long period of time, then that means much higher shin cheating blockages. Therefore, longer blessings are needed or higher level blessings are needed. Both are available. This is a simply a five-minute representation, but doesn't mean that the blessing doesn't work. It means that the negative energy blockages are much higher than the limited blessing that was able to offer to clear them. What happens during these blessings, like this one that was just given? Positive Shen Qi Jing is released from heaven to offset the negative Shen Qi Jing blockages, to offset the debt, so to speak. If you had a debt on a home, and then all of a sudden you received a million dollars, you pay off your debt on your home. You use the positive energy of the money to pay off the negative energy of the debt. And it's the same thing that happens with these blessings. Heaven releases... Uh, positive Shen Qi Jing, heaven's virtue to offset the spiritual debt. But if it's not working, that means the spiritual debt is much higher. Uh, that means that portions of that debt was paid off, uh, but certainly not enough to create a shift in the number. Okay, 
Thomas says, I experienced a very honest and deep forgiveness. It was a five before. His condition was a five before. And he feels a little lighter now. He's extremely grateful. And uh, he shared earlier that he had an emotional pain. Emotional pains can be very, very deep. Uh, and so those need a lot of work. Uh, Gerd Gukin says, thank you for the blessing. She has the throat pain. Uh, Archana, dull pain and sciatica nerves seems to have become less. <coughs> yep, sciatica is related to the hips. So for those that are not doing hip stretches, start doing that. Bernadette, thank you so much. She was at a seven with mental pain, and she's now at a three. She felt it in her heart and in her head. Beautiful sharing. Thank you, Bernadette. So mental pain. What is mental pain? It could be, it could be a form of an anxiety. It could be a form of a worry. It could be you know thinking about, uh, fearful about a certain thing. And it sounds emotional, but it can it can mess with our, our state of mind. Uh, Eileen says, "Thank you, Master Paul, for your blessings. There was so much light around her. She feels happy. Wonderful." Wagner, dear Master Paul. Uh, healing blessings for condition of sore throat and severe coughing. It was a seven, and now it's down to a number two. In every case, who do we offer gratitude to? Thank you, heaven. Thank you, the source creator. Okay, I'm not doing anything. I'm just a, a middleman delivering the blessing. <clears throat> Tone says she went from an eight in her neck and shoulder pain down to a two. Congratulations to all of these souls that have received a significant shift. Again, for those that have not, doesn't mean it wasn't working. Just means that aspects of it were shaved off. That means that you need higher blessings or more blessings. You can check with me directly. I'm happy to offer you personal blessings. Or you can sign up for the March 16, 17 events if you follow the uh, uh, posts put in by Yamini. Uh, she has posted the links to that. And you can register for those blessings. Uh, the event itself includes the blessing. That's one of the huge benefits. It's very, very affordable because you get a very high level blessing along with the registration. Um, Eoline says she doesn't have pain. Congratulations. Uh, Maya, uh, thank you, Master Paul. Emotional pain and mental imbalances related to their relationships have eased, and she feels more calm and self-loving. Wonderful. Congratulations. Rashan, she went uh, from a low down of uh, mid-pain of 1 to 7, from low down of mind pain. Um, so probably is either spoken in reverse or uh, different perception, but basically it went, it went down. So congratulations. You're welcome, Sylvia. Welcome, Penelope. Okay, I'm just scrolling through the rest of these. Gerd said the pain from the throat is still there, but she trusts in the healing and the forgiveness. Yeah, just do more forgiveness. Can definitely adjust. Dan says tightness in his chest shot up. It was an uh, at an 8, it shot up to a 15, felt a lot of blockages being removed, and now it's down to a 3. So can imagine a lot of tightness here, and then it gets even worse up to a 15, and then it released and went down to a 3. Thank you, heaven. Thank you for that beautiful blessing for Dan. And Burson says she felt relief. Thank you so much. Thank you, Divine Dell Source. Melissa, she has a lot of pain, was in a horrific car accident in 2017. Still to this day, her back and leg hurt so bad. Wish she could get back to the life before all this. And in November 22nd, her boyfriend passed away. And she's just a mess. A lot of She needs a lot of positive energy. Okay, Melissa. Um, I do recommend following through with this guidance. You know, the, the, the blessings to receive from Master Shah, he's, he's literally the world's most renowned healer. I'm not making that up. So register March 16, March 17. I think it's only, I don't know, 75 US dollars. I don't care how poor you are. Anyone can find $75. You can save for it between now and then. You got a whole month to save. And register for these events. Each blessing will cost approximately that amount. You could get one for your back, one for your leg, and one for your emotional condition. Uh, $300 and you could be fixed. That's how talented this master is. Okay? So save your money, save your money, save your money. Register, register, register. I cannot emphasize enough the opportunities everybody has to resolve these conditions. Uh, Yamini shared that she had sudden cramps in her stomach and just before the blessing, and she doesn't have them anymore. 
Congratulations, Yamini. And I'm getting a message you still need to do more um, uh, clearing of wide jaw blockages and moving the chi through your entire channel. Rawita says, thank you, Master Paul. This is a beautiful blessing uh, infused with love and forgiveness. You're very welcome. She feels some relief in her tongue. Okay. So thank you all for your sharing. Thank you for your um, presence. Please follow the links. You can go to drshaw.com and uh, all of the opportunities to watch and webcast or in person in Hawaii are listed there. And if you follow the ones that Yamini has posted, it's exact links to those registrations. If you have any questions, you can contact me directly uh, through Facebook Messenger uh, or go to my website and you can contact me that way. Okay? So love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you on Sunday for those that want to join, singing Love, Peace, and Harmony to serve all those with the condition of cancer. That's Sunday, 6 p.m. Hawaii time, 8 p.m. Pacific time, uh, 11 p.m. in the Eastern time zones. It's 9.30 in the morning in India. It's very early over there in Europe. It's about 4 and 5 a.m. respectively for the U.K. and and Central Eastern European time. It's only 3 a.m. and 3 p.m. in the afternoon in, in uh, Sydney area. So I look forward to serving you then. Bye bye, everybody.